Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's video we're going to be talking about seven of my best baits for fishing basin crappies. Now anytime you're ice fishing, especially midwinter on, you're going to spend a decent amount of time fishing in the basin of the lake because that's where a lot of the crappies are. So in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about some of my best baits for fishing basin crappies and this is we're going to be talking about plastics today. Plastics only and because I spend a lot of time fishing plastics in the basin. Now just the other day I shot an ice fishing video on my top five crappie ice fishing lures and those are just my all around best lures. So if you haven't seen that yet uh, you definitely want to check that video out. I'll link it up here in the description, uh, in the corner of the video. I'll also put it in the description if you want to watch it later. But those baits work really well. But because we covered them in that video, we're not going to talk about them today. So these baits we're going to talk about today, they all work very well for basin crappie fishing. So if you're going out this weekend uh, or any time to catch some basin crappies, you're definitely going to want to have these baits. Now, when we fish in the basin. We're really going to run into two types of scenarios. Scenario one is you're fishing a school of aggressive crappies, or you're fishing, you know, small schools, singles, doubles, triples, and they're more roaming, but they're still aggressive. That's one scenario. The other scenario is there's going to be crappies. They're usually not in schools. They can be, but they're usually not, and they're more finicky. So these type of crappies we're going to fish with different baits than we will those really aggressive crappies. So we're going to start getting right into these baits here and we're going to start out by saying when we're fishing basin we're usually in fairly deep water so it helps to fish a tungsten jig. So we're going to also be talking about some jigs here that uh, you can fish these plastics with. So just getting into the first bait here it's a bait that I've used for quite a few years now it works very well and that's the 13 fishing Banff looks just like this in the package there it is right there that's the pink here it is out of the package this is a little bit bigger bait but you can see it has a nice action tail I talk about action tails a lot so I'm, you can see I'm just holding this and that tail is whip, whipping that's what gets these crappies to bite in that deep water. Um, you know, if they're aggressive, they'll come up and smash it. But even if they're a little bit more finicky, you can fish this bait slower, get that tail going, and get the bite. So when I'm fishing a big bait like this, you could use something like an Acme Google Eye Jig. Uh, you know, a nice big tungsten. That's a pretty big bait, so you can use a big jig like the Google Eye. Um, you could even use... This Acme sling, billet, sling Blade looks just like that. Or the VMC Mongo Jig, which looks just like this. I actually have this rigged on a different plastic because I use them a lot. But there's a VMC Mongo Jig. I like to use the 32nd ounce, but if fish get really finicky, I'll go down to the uh, 1 64th ounce. So the Banff works really well. Another bait that I really like is uh, the Clam Makey Plastics Minnow. Here it is right here in the pink. But that's just a really good bait. It's another bigger bait. It's, it's good size. It's another bait for aggressive crappies. All right, and here it is right here. You can see this bait, it's really flexible. So you can really get some, there's the tail. You can really get some awesome action on this bait uh, in the water. This is just an awesome bait. I, I usually would hook this on a 32nd ounce tungsten mongo jig. So another bait that I really like is the clam. We're going to stick with the clam makey plastics. It's the mad eye. looks just like this. I think that's how you say it. But uh, either way, here it is in chartreuse. So this is kind of like the Jamie. However, this one's just a little bit bigger, but it fishes the same. It's another great lure for catching those those. Uh, basin crappies and you can use that bait when they're aggressive or uh, when they're a little finicky. It's a thinner plastic, it's got those really long action tails so even finicky crappies will smash that bait. 
Now, guys, if you haven't already, I just want to interject here and invite you to join my five-day crappie locating challenge. Basically, how this challenge works is if you sign up for it, I email you five videos in five days. You watch the videos. I outline how to go out, find crappie spots on new lakes, or find new spots on lakes that you already fish. And then you just reply and say, you know, you completed the challenge. But we're having good success with the challenge already. Uh, like I said, you just watch the videos. In the videos, I talk about how you pick a new lake, break it down, and then go out and find crappie videos. So if you want to join the five-day crappie locating challenge, just click on the link in the description of this video, and I will email you uh, the challenge and the videos. Now, when crappies are really aggressive, I like to fish bigger baits. A great one is this uh, Little Adam Jumbo Wedgie. It looks just like that. Basically, it's just a really big, chunky piece of plastic with a, a tapering off thin tail. And you, because that's a big plastic, you can fish it with a big jig like the Google Eye jig. You could fish it with the VMC Mongo jig. You could fish it with a 13 fishing Doug jig. Those all work. Now these are all tungsten, obviously. These will all work for fishing some of those bigger baits. Now if crappies are a little bit more finicky, then instead of the jumbo wedgie, you're gonna just go with the regular wedgie. This is up by Little Adam. There it is in red. There it is in purple. Here I have one rigged right here on a, on a 32nd ounce Mongo jig. Looks just like this. You can see it's just got the body. It tapers down into an action tail. And like I said, here I'll hang it from the, the, the VMC Mongo jig. The wedgies are, a, I, I really like to use the wedgies. I use them a lot. The small wedgies, that's one of my go-to uh, lures for fish and basin crappies when they're finicky. So I, I fish the, uh, the little wedgies a lot. I mean, the little wedgies, the, the aggressive crappies, they'll smash that too. But if crappies are really aggressive, and I know there's some big ones around, I'll throw that big wedgie on trying to get the, to kind of single out some of those bigger crappies. All right, guys, so the other day I was out and I shot a video of, you know, just basin fishing these crappies. We were using some good lures for basin fishing crappies. If you want to check that video out, I'll link it right up here in the corner of this video, but make sure you check that video out. And you will just see kind of how we fish some of these lures in the basin for these nice big basin crappies. Now, when crappies really get finicky, it's important to downsize use smaller baits. That's where the original wedgie works really well. But sometimes you need to get really small. In that case, I'll use something like this. This is a Northland Impulse. Uh, this is the Mayfly. Looks just like this. Here it is hooked on a third, a 64th ounce Mongo jig. Now you can see this. this is a tiny little bait and it has you know little tails it has some arms and these are pretty flexible they do move in the water but this bait it's not going to be the action tail that gets the strike it's going to be just the size shape and color of the bait you're going to fish this bait much slower so all these other ones we've talked about they've all you know they either have an action tail or they have some arms and you're going to you know get those arms just jiggling and that's what's going to come up and get these crappies to bite this, you're going to just fish this very slowly, and, you know, at times you might even dead stick it. I mean, you're not going to completely dead stick it because it's plastic, but you'll, you'll hold it in place. You'll fish it really slow, and those finicky crappies are going to come, that, you know, these ones a lot of times are feeding on plankton or insects, and, they, you know, the winter's wearing on, and they just don't want to hit a big bait. You're going to run into that sometimes, even on big crappies. That's when just going to the, the smaller jig, the smaller bait fished slowly is going to get the bite. So if you get into one of those situations where, you know, what a lot of times will happen is guys will be fishing them with plastics and those fish, they don't bite. So they throw on one of these, these um, they'll throw down a live minnow and the fish still won't hit it. Well, a lot of times downsizing to the impulse mayfly, the little atom wedgie, the small one, those are going to get bit. 
All right, so the final lure that I want to talk about today is another one by the Little Atom. It's the Little Atom Poly. It looks just like this. It's a mid-sized bait. You know, you can fish this for aggressive fish. You can fish it for finicky fish. It represents what the crappies are naturally feeding on. It's another great lure for fishing uh, these basin crappies. But plastics just work awesome for basin crappies. So grab some of these lures. Next time you're going to go out fishing for crappies in the basin and, um, and, and try them. They work. So for more great tips on crappie fishing, on lures to use, check out one of the two videos in the corner of this video or of the screen here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.